Hello and welcome to another lecture for the online edition of History of Journalism at Temple University. I'm Professor Harper and this is a brief lecture about Richard Harding Davis who happens to be one of my favorite uh, journalists of all time. Uh, he was known for his work uh, for yellow journalism um, for the New York Journal and the New York uh, Tribune. Um, he was he was a, a fascinating character. He was known as the journalist who would be king. He used to travel covering wars, writing about all kinds of things, and had collapsible tubs in his kit and tuxedos if he had to go to a to a, a formal dinner. Uh, really interesting fellow. Uh, what we'll be reading uh, in the Art of Fact is a story that he wrote about the Spanish-American War called The Death of Rodriguez, which is uh, uh, a fascinating story which uh, essentially talks about a Cuban revolutionary young man who was executed by the Spanish. So just some basic facts. He was born in Philadelphia. He went to Lehigh and John Hopkins and became a reporter uh, in Philadelphia and then later with the New York Evening Sun. He wrote fiction, he wrote plays, he wrote, um, you know, one was Gallagher and other stories, which was a collection of tales about a, a newsboy detective. In 1890, he became managing editor of Harper's Weekly and began making trips to various parts of the world, one of the most famous uh, war correspondents in, in history. Um, as a foreign correspondent, he covered all the wars of his days. He published several books uh, recording his experiences about the Spanish-American War, the Russian-Japanese War, the Boer War in South Africa. He also wrote novels, Soldiers of Fortune, The Bar Sinister about the law profession, uh, The Dictator, Miss Civilization. Um, he was, uh, you know, a consummate writer and essentially was doing all of this stuff. Um, uh, as uh, a writer of nonfiction and fiction and, uh, and a fascinating fellow. He died in 1916 in Mount Kisco, New York, uh, and he's buried there. Uh, there's a small museum uh, there. If you're ever in Mount Kisco, drop by. So um, a few notes about Richard Harding Davis, the journalist who would be king. And that's what we have for today, and thanks very much. We'll see you online.